the, the field, some farmers started just support, use just a portion of their land cultivating vegetables to send it to Manila. From farmers' point of view, that is more profitable. And if that is the case, I think I don't think we can do so. It's better for farmers to the way. And second point, uh, what is that? Okay. Okay. I was I was wondering whether when you calculated two people force, whether you consider mechanization, contribution of mechanism, because that will reduce the two people force. Uh, so you cannot no. we cannot use a flat sort of uh, way of two people force. So in the last one decade when mechanism has taken that may reduce the two people force and that that can be Uh, it's not a question, it's actually a comment. Uh, I find this a fascinating study, Kay, uh, particularly when it's contrasted with what's happening in, say, Bangladesh and Tamil Nadu and other, other places. And it's, it's, it's like land reform is considered a, a positive in here, and a place like Bangladesh and Tamil Nadu, there wasn't land reform, but things have gone further in terms of the development. And it's interesting this that people have hung on to their lands when the labour operator, who's really the actual farmer, I would say they're the farmer in the system out here because they're doing a lot of the work, they have actually not been able to go in, undergo a process of taking on ownership of the land. Now, if we contrast that to Bangladesh over the last 50 years, we have seen that poorer households have actually taken up farming, have expanded their rice base with time, and the larger households have actually disinvested in land. Um, and that way, farming has remained very much a, more strongly an owner-operated system uh, by active farmers who are still doing the operations themselves, and they've actually expanded their base by renting in land, and the tenancy law, tenancy practices have, have changed without government intervention, but they've actually changed around the economy. So it, it's like there's a, there's a I, I'm concerned about the Philippine situation in terms of how you've got this uh, special type of labourer who's only getting 10% of the harvest or 20% of the harvest. It's it's uh, it's very it's, it's quite exploitative of the labour. It's not enabling them to actually step out um, with their own development. I, I, I just find this very very fascinating. Yeah, yeah. that kind of you know voluntary land trans uh, transaction for for efficient farming is actually the ideal situation. And I think the problem is if government regulate that kind of voluntary transaction, then that is a source of the inefficiency. Okay, so uh, I see a lot of hand uh, up, so, but we have a time limitation. Okay, so we take one question um, group and you, uh, Susan, and last four questions. We hope we can finish it in five minutes. So everybody's going to Simple, more brief. Okay. Thank you for a very informative presentation. Uh, I noted that the uh, lack of land consolidation may be a constraint to ownership of uh, mechanization and uh, farm equipment. But if indeed there is a strong demand for mechanization, what is it that prevents the emergence of the market for services, mechanization services, as in other places, you know, like, like uh, uh, ownership and renting out uh, of, of, of tractors and such combines? Yeah, I think you know when hand tractor is introduced, the rental market of the 
and track of a spike active. I think similar happened in the company handbook some of the margins here. Uh, I'd like to address the issue of the low profitability in the wet season. What your data show is there some increase in input use in the wet season, but not an increase in yield. There is a tendency to inefficient input use without addressing the risks in the wet season. In the dry season, the yields are going up and going up more than some of the inputs. There's really a case to be made in the Philippines for redistribution of inputs between the wet season and the dry season. And I think this could be one of the very important added implications for policy that can come out of the wheat study. Okay. Yeah, thank you. That's, uh, it is very nice to hear from you once again, uh, Kay. This is, this is a real pleasure. Uh, just a uh, quick question. Uh, you, you mentioned that the uh, wet season dry season has more or less stagnated. Uh, wet season rice area for farm has also sort of depleted it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the, the dry season dry season has almost at six farms, which is very high. So as we look ahead, I was just wondering, what does that tell to the Philippine government in terms of trying to, make, trying to achieve a higher level of food sufficiency? I wouldn't say 100%. But there are some serious problems there. And uh, in terms of the things to be done, what would you suggest based on this study? Uh, very good question. <laughs> and if you, you, you yeah. say it's a very big as we can yeah. reserve it, yeah. and you can discuss it down. Yeah. But the uh, point is actually maybe, uh, well, uh, the point I, I think is the same. We have to. For the sustainability of the green revolution, um, the issue we have to think about at this time is this. And that's, I might suggest also to the government. Okay, last but question. Do you want to say anything about because the time? Okay, that's okay. Nothing else. Last question. We have to close. If the farmers get any older, do you think if, sorry, if they the will? Farmers if the farmers get any older, do you think they will give up rice farming? That's my question too. <laughs> okay, that's the real answer. Yeah. That's the real answer. Okay. I really want to see what happens yeah. in the next five years. Okay, so I have to say sorry because we have already very, very long, 15 minutes, uh, 10 minutes more. And if you have some questions, do you have some questions later on, you can discuss uh, with me. Yeah. But then here I have to close because everybody has their, their own job, uh, own work in there. So uh, I would like to thank Kay to give us a great lessons to hear. The here we have the, our certifications to in, indicate our appreciation from our uh, search, 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 uh, search the seminar community. Thank you. Thank you very much. Remember, for those of you on the way out, uh, there's a merienda uh, next door, and also, you can, if you want to play the game of rice, pick up a sheet on your way out.